Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to prepare our environment for Langchain development. First of all, we need an IDE. So we are going to use Visual Studio Code, which is free, light and robust. And I hope you are going to have one in your system. So let's open VS Code. And inside VS Code, make sure you should have these two extensions. One is PyLens and other one is Python. And then you need to obviously open a folder inside that folder create man.py file. Once everything is ready, you need to select your Python interpreter. On the bottom right of the VS Code, you are going to see your Python version. So currently I'm using 3.9.10. And for Langchain, make sure you should use Python 3.6 or greater version. I'm going to stick with 3.9. It works fine. Let's select it and now we need to install few frameworks so terminal terminal so the first framework is obviously going to be a langchain so let's type here pip install langchain and hit enter great we already have langchain and then we need to install open ai so you can use open ai or you can use hugging face hub with langchain it's totally up to you but i think open ai works much better than hugging face hub so we are going to stick with open ai so just type here pip install open ai enter we got one now it's time to use these modules so let's import Open AI model from Langchain. From Langchain.llms port open AI. And we also need to import OS module. And why we need to import it? Let's see. So basically, we need to set up our open AI account key to the system environment variables. And in order to set that key, we need to use this module. So let's go to your OpenAI account, a uh, platform.openai.com, and just click on your profile icon. Go to manage account, and under manage account, just go to API keys and generate your API key by clicking on this button. But you need to be on pad plan, otherwise, it's not going to work. Under billing, uh, you are going to set up your account. So I'm already on the pad plan, that's why uh, I don't need to redo that process but obviously you need to set up it it's quite cheap uh, it costs you almost five dollar per month you can see the pricing right here uh, we are going to use some of these features here gpt is going to cost 0.002 for 1k tokens so 1k tokens are i think equals to a 750 volt so it's quite cheap as compared to hugging face so once you have set up your account, you just need to copy that API key and we need to set that API key to system environment variables. So os.environment variables and the key is going to be open a underscore API underscore key. Make sure that you type exactly this name, otherwise it's not going to work. And then you obviously need to paste for that key. Once you set up your key to the environment variables, it's time to initialize our OpenAI model. So LLM is equals to OpenAI. Simple. And now it's time to test it out. Let's type here a sentence, maybe. What the hell are you talking about? And let's run it. Oops, we need to pass this sentence to the model. We don't need to print it as it is. So let's type here LLM, put these rounded brackets and we are good to go. Let's run it again. Boom, everything is working fine. We got our response. Now you can also change the temperature of this model. So by temperature, I mean uh, how much creative your model should be, which directly affects output. So if I type here, 
temperature is equals to so by default the temperature is going to be a 0 0.7 so let's make it more creative so temperature 0 0.9 and let's run it and this time we got a different response but if i put this temperature to zero then every time this model is going to give us the same result we got this response now let's run it one more time and we are going to get the same response and yes both of these responses are same so this is how this temperature affects the creativity of the model and i think uh, it's enough for now and in the next lecture we are going to uh, dive deeper into Langchain and how to combine it with different models in different environments so bye bye